My name is Angelo Padin. I was born here in the city of Worcester, Massachusetts. Um, I actually moved 29 different times between kindergarten and graduating uh, my senior year. Faith was always kind of a part of like my family and things that we did. And, and I'd say at the age of 13 is when I made the faith my own. I actually dropped out of uh, enlisting in the Navy my senior year um, and going to be a missionary in the Dominican Republic. Ultimately after that, I ended up um, joining the Marine Corps, which is its own different kind of mission field. Sharing my faith and, and being who I am and being that light has always been a central part of who I am and, and what I wanted to do in this life. Once I got out the Marine Corps, I ended up being an actor and a model here in Boston and in the New England market. And in 2018, I decided to move to Los Angeles on a one-way ticket, had no idea where I was gonna stay or what I was gonna do. I just knew that I felt that calling to be able to take it out there and, and see what happened. And I remember struggling um, during some of my first weeks there and I ended up in a veteran shelter and they couldn't take me in after they said that they could. And I remember calling my family and being like, buy me a plane ticket, I'm going back home. I just remember God telling me, you're exactly where I need you to be. And I'm like, bro, I'm about to be on the streets. Like, I don't know if that's really where I'm supposed to be, but I remember God telling me, I'm gonna put you in places that you're gonna influence those who have influence. And I didn't really understand it at that time, right? Because I was looking to be in front of the camera. Through my process of, of being out there in Los Angeles and trying to network and survive and all of that, I ended up behind the camera. And I started uh, working with celebrities and, and I remember specifically um, my first time working with one of my clients. It was not what I expected. It was, um, you know, just being in pure darkness. I experienced homelessness and, um, you know, being alone in a lot of the places, but I, I, I consider that my desert phase where I was with just God and daily depending on Him and um, seeing the beautiful ways that He provided for me and, and put me in grace in certain places. And um, after three years of sacrificing, either living in my car or uh, couch surfing, like I got into a really good position where I had five different jobs and I got an agent and a manager and I got my first big opportunity to be able uh, to be in a movie, a military movie that took place in China. January 2020 came and I packed up all my stuff and I quit up my five jobs and moved out of the studio space that I had gotten and went to China. And unfortunately, three weeks into pre-production, uh, COVID-19 broke out and sent us all back home, but I didn't really necessarily have a home to go back to. To this day, it's, it's one of those um, memories where sometimes I can look at and be disappointed about, but then I also see where I am today. And if it wasn't for those kind of moments where you see where God opens doors and you're like, wow, God, I'm so grateful that you did that uh, because without that, I wouldn't be where I am today. I ended up bringing my talents back to home, you know, Worcester, and I became a realtor, but something inside of me was still like, it felt suffocated, the creative inside of me. So through happenstance, um, I ran into my old high school basketball coach and their team was on a historic run uh, to try to capture the first division one state title for Worcester. Um, and we were incredibly fortunate to be able to uh, not only document the process of uh, capturing that title, um, and the next season as well, but I got to be a big brother to these kids, getting them to practice or to games or um, sharing some motivational messaging through text messages or answering questions about college. Again, cameras got me into an opportunity to be able to serve um, and to be big brothers to these kids. And there was some dark moments as well, you know, when uh, one of our players was tragically murdered um, last November. Uh, and that situation, that experience, uh, is kind of what birthed this studio, this Hollywood studio that we have here um, in Cherry Valley. Because I, I saw the influence that I was able to have on Carl, I actually took him to his, his uh, college visit at Salem State where he decided to end up going. I just wanted to do it at a larger scale. I wanted to be a mentor to them. I wanted to be a big brother to them. So that's our aim here. Um, it's not just about the pictures or the videos and the, the art that gets created here. To me, it's about the impact. I want to be able to impact these youth's lives. I want to be able to fill in the gaps. I'll take this, 
being able to impact and serve others over just gratifying myself and my ego. And it's the gospel. It's being able to get people close to, to God and, and to have that relationship um, heal all things. So um, I'm really looking forward to that opportunity to not just meet kids at, and, and their physical needs, but also find a way to be able to meet their spiritual needs as well. When I was a youth and I was in their shoes, you know, God sent people to fill in those gaps. So in turn, I just want to give back to, to those same kind of kids and I want to be able to, to help them along this journey that we call life.